Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So I'm just going to do my makeup and then we're going to get on with the Q&A. First we'll do a highlighter. Then eyeliner. And some lipstick. So, Q&A time. The first question is from Twitter and that is when when you first got diagnosed with your mental health issues how did you feel what were your thoughts so when i first got diagnosed with my mental health condition i felt very isolated because i was in hospital and honestly when i got told you lydia you've got bipolar it was one of the scariest moments in my life because from what i'd experienced the bipolar was but when i first got diagnosed i remember feeling very afraid and it happens now when I get new diagnosis, like the other week when I got diagnosed it's so effective. I felt so confused because I've been diagnosed with bipolar for 13 years and all this time it was schizoaffective disorder. Schizoaffective disorder does best explain my symptoms. So there is that which I'm happy about. But yeah, it was a very hard time in my life. The next question is on YouTube. Do you ever miss slash like mania? I've said this before in videos but I love being manic. I get so much done. I don't need to sleep. I feel energised. The downside to it is I do get very irritable and very angry very easily and my mood's a bit more unpredictable. How's your weekend been? So it's Monday today. Monday the 12th. My weekend was okay, I spent a lot of it working on YouTube videos because I'm going on holiday in September and I want to be in advance for then so I'm still pre-recording videos and uploading them. My weekend was good and the car's beeping. My weekend was good then. I'm also going to try and clean my room at some point this week so that will be a video because my room is a shit dip. Ducks? Always. <laughs> I have a duck calendar, I have rubber duckies, I have light up rubber duckies, I have duck stickers in the mail. I don't have a duck squishmallow though. If anyone knows where I can get a duck squishmallow, please link it in the comments below. I need a duck. If anyone who doesn't know, ducks are my special interest, so, and yes, I am water. How did you come to be diagnosed with type 1 diabetes? So, I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes about four years ago. God, it's been a long time. And I got diagnosed because I kept going to A&E because I had really bad head pain that I believe was coming from my lump. I'm waiting on an ultrasound because I've got lumps all over my head. And they are a bit concerning because there's become more of them. So I'm a bit afraid of that, but that's not what the question's about. So I went to A&E and they did my blood sugar and it was in the 30s and then I did, did, they tested the ketones and it was high. So yeah, that's how I got diagnosed. What is your diagnosis? My diagnosis are as follows. Schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type, anxiety, Insomnia, EDNOS, PTSD. How do you cope with self-harm urges? So self-harm urges come quite frequently and if I'm being honest, but when I deal with them is I either sleep, have a hot bath, colour, watch Netflix. I don't go for a walk because I'm likely to go and try and buy pills to overdose on. How do you get through your hardest days? Mm, not very well, if I'm being honest. 
I tend to I have a tendency to just stay in bed apart from to get my medication. I have a bath and I could on my emotional support unicorn. What happens when you're restrained in hospital? So restraint. This is gonna take a minute to explain. I've been restrained both in general hospital, psych wards. The goal is to either get you onto something comfortable, a beanbag, your bed, or the floor. Now, as someone with arthritis, let me tell you, the floor hurts a lot. Nothing really happens. You just restrain until you're not a risk to yourself or others. I've only ever been restrained as a risk to self, so I can't really comment on risk to others. Risk to self, I've been restrained for. Nothing happens as such. Sometimes you get injected with, you get IM'd. I get IM'd with lorazepam because it knocks me the fuck out. Apart from when I was in Sussex County Hospital, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it on the iCard. Um, Sussex County Hospital injected me with midazolam. Didn't do anything, but they tried. Nothing happens as such, so you just get pinned down and stopped from hurting yourself or others. How do you feel when scars fade? Grateful. <laughs> Two scars I have on my arms. There and there. And I want to cover them up so badly but they're so close to my other tattoos that I can't tattoo over them because it would mess up the design of the tattoos that I've got. So I'm kind of just hoping they fade away, even though I was told they never would. How do I feel? It's genuinely grateful. Uh, a lot of the scars on this side of my arm have faded. My arm just looks white to you. This is why I need to get a ring light that works. Oh, I'm going on holiday in three weeks. Three weeks till I'm in Somerset. What made you cover your scars with tattoos? I covered my scars with tattoos because they genuinely upset me. My scars triggered me into thinking I could have done better when I was trying to kill myself. To anyone who doesn't remember, this is what my arm looked like before and after the tattoo. So it was a big one and I want I just needed to cover it off. It was it was really upsetting to me because it just reminded me constantly of that day that I did it. And honestly it just upset me. It's not like I was I was basically competing with myself in the sense that I was like I can do better than that. And then I self harmed more. I'm happy to say that I am 18 months self-harm free, which is fucking incredible. But yeah, I chose to get tattoos to cover them up because I was getting really competitive with myself and it was just getting dangerous. Last year I decided to get tattoos to cover my scars and I did. Sorry, my stomach's still rumbling. I haven't eaten since lunch yesterday. My eating disorder's not going too well, but... I'm trying. But that's all the questions I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. If you have any questions you want to ask me, ask them in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see you in a future video. Peace.